I go beyond the fears and limitations of other people. I am a motivator. One thing you have to address is the fact that your beliefs they control your life. Because now, what happens when you believe in something? You, for instance, you believe that you deserve the something life. You believe that you are supposed to be living the soft life. You believe that I'm supposed to be a millionaire, man. By genuine ways, you know, because there are ingenuine ways to be a millionaire and live that kind of life. If you believe that I'm supposed to be successful, guess what? The other things that are surrounding that belief, they switch off. And there's a spotlight that turns on on that current and strong belief that you are having, man. They just a strong point in that belief system. And you tend to be in a position whereby that belief, whatever it is, it attracts thoughts that are consistent with that belief. Amen. Oh, That's the size of believing man if you just understand that part you will take your thoughts seriously you will take your beliefs seriously you will start to be mindful about what you are believing in you will be mindful about what you are thinking about you will think about what you are thinking about after understanding what i just said right now what you think about controls your belief system and your belief system controls your life that is why you have to know what you are believing in in life man you believe you are you're going to be poor the thing of the greatness is for people out there you are supposed to be living in a one-room shack you are supposed to be a mid-class somebody you will stay a mid-class somebody while people are working on high-class, honey. So therefore, you have to upgrade your belief system, honey, and make sure that you are thinking right thoughts and you are letting the right thoughts influence your life and influencing the way you are living, influencing what you are thinking about at the end of the day. You have to be mindful about what you are thinking about. So, Whatever you I'm coming back again, man. Whatever you are believing in sheds a spotlight on that belief. It switches off the other beliefs, which are bad or whatever. Therefore, you tend to attract the thoughts that are consistent with that belief. And therefore, it's a vicious cycle. It's a an exponential growth. I believe I'm rich. I believe I'm wealthy. I believe in the soft life. I believe I can make it out there. I can be a leader. I can be a great person. Guess what? Great thoughts coming to you. Great thoughts are coming to you. You know, wealthy thoughts are coming to you. Rich thoughts are coming to you. Thoughts that pertain you having to make money are coming across. You tend to attract thoughts that are consistent with a strong belief. You tend to make progress. You flip the coin, the same is true. I am poor. Guess what? There's a spotlight on that thought. That thought will attract more thoughts that are consistent with that thought. And your life turns into a roller coaster, man. Oh, I wouldn't like to be around you because... You will be a wreck, a havoc. You will be insane. You will be hard to spend time with. Why? Because now I'm trying to get somewhere in life, man. I don't want bad thoughts influencing me. I will kindly excuse myself from you, man. And it's something that every south african is supposed to do every african is supposed to every american is supposed to every asian is supposed to do you have to check what people are spewing 
what are they spewing what dominant in their tongue what dominant in their thoughts so that you are in a position where you can avoid those people and attract the people who are consistent with your vision the blueprint of your life of where you are supposed to be ladies and gentlemen motive for life that's what we're all about man check your belief system check your thoughts check your life check your surroundings check your second i'll see you on the other side of the video man